We're here at the Van Lee Rally in LJ, Georgia, to Loader Ridge RV Resort, our first resort, and it is super cool. Look at the sea of Van Lees here at Tolona Ridge RV Resort. You will never see this many Van Lees together unless you're at an owner's rally. Here we are at our site, E26, at the Tolona Ridge RV Resort. It is such a deep site. You can see all the way back there. And check out this fire pit. I call it a fire cauldron. And um, it comes with some great uh, chairs, but we pulled out our especially comfy Black Sierra chairs and ottomans and a beautiful picnic table. And as you can see here, we're prepping for our Instant Pot pulled pork demo and taco bar tomorrow. That's gonna be tons of fun. And we'll walk back deeper into the site. We have all this grass, beautiful landscaping. Our bikes have a nice home in the sun. And look at this landscaping back here. It's pretty amazing. There is a road back there, not too much road noise. And you can see the mountains in the background. More landscaping. Look how deep this site is. We even had room to back up some more. And check out this pedestal. Have you seen a pedestal this cool? You probably have, but I haven't been in a resort before. This is my first resort, so I think that's pretty cool. We've got everything hooked up. I'm gonna walk around here, get an idea of, there's some more mountains. As you can see in the distance, look at those mountains. And yeah, that's a Lippert truck because at the rally, Lippert is here doing some fixes for, um, for the owners. Uh, we have, where's the culprit right here? This guy right here is a wee bit leaky and they're supposed to be taking care of that for us, but that's really the only thing we had wrong. So the longer this sits, the more flavor gets into the meat. So you're going to get your Blackstone smoking hot. And we're just going to lay it down. Let's get some oil on there first. The whole key to making it taste the way it's going to taste when we all dig into it is, is searing the outside, searing the coffee and the chocolate and creating that bark. If you, put, if you put a pork butt in, the, in a wood-fired oven or, or you smoke it, it creates a bark. Since we don't have smoke, that's what we're doing is we, we're creating our own bark. And that's, that's what the chocolate and the coffee do. Okay. You want to break it up into like softball-ish okay. sizes. Sear it all the way around. And don't be afraid of color. If you see it, let's see, what's the hottest part of the grill? So see how we're starting to blacken? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, think of it like blackened pork. Don't be, the, the color is a good thing. Now don't burn it, obviously, but if it starts to turn dark, that's, that's not a bad thing. This is the liquid from the last batch that I did. Yeah. It's been strained and I drained the fat off of it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use it. Yeah, we're going to, basically what we're going to do is when this comes out of the Instant Pot, and you could eat it right out of the Instant Pot, but we're going to crisp it up on the Blackstone. So we're going to do a second Blackstone step is what we're going to do. And that kicks up the flavor a notch is what it does. So the Instant Pot has a sear function. So if you don't have a Blackstone, you can sear this in the Instant Pot. It works just fine. Yeah, it works really well. And you will get this type of color on it too. Yeah, it works, it works great. So when you go in your Instant Pot, you're going to need some liquid. I like to use chicken stock. You can use, any, you can use pork stock, vegetable stock, anything you want. Um, Beef stock would work too. I only go about a quarter of the pan, so I'm going to go about this deep. Now they have a picture of your bottom. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to throw in here some bay leaves. And then here I've got some yellow onion. I've got one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic, and then I've got some slices of lime are going to go in here as well. So what we're doing is we're, you can see at every step, we're adding flavor. When we put the rub on, we added mustard. That's flavor. When we got it on the Blackstone, we seared it. That's adding flavor. We added limes, onions, uh, bay leaves. We're adding more flavor. When it comes out and we char it again, we're adding additional flavor. So it's, it's adding flavor at every step of the way. And then all you got to do... Just get it in your Instant Pot, plug it in. 
Um, I set it at 50 minutes if your pot is fairly full. If you're only, if you're gonna do like a half order, I'd maybe do 40 minutes. Um, the key to the instant pot is when the timer goes off, and I would say this for anything you cook in an instant pot, when the timer goes off, don't hit the switch and release the pressure. What do you do? You let it go down. Yep, you let it always, no matter what you have in there, don't, don't let your steam off. Let that thing go down. And how long does yours take? About 10 to 10, 10 15, minutes 15 minutes, 10 yeah. 15 and that's about what we do is we let that thing just sit, unplug it, and just let it sit there for 10 minutes. Let that pressure come down on its own. Now, when you do go to release it, you will get, you'll still get some pressure that will come out of there. But really, instant pot cooking, whether it's pork or anything else, let those things come down to pressure on their own. You'll, your, your, your wait time will be rewarded. Yes. All right, let's, let's get to the finishing part. So when your product comes out, this is what you get. The secret is give it another good cook on your Blackstone. So we'll turn this back up. Yeah, let's get a little more oil on there. Yeah, it is cold, but it'll, it's going to cook up fast. And as we're grilling it up, we're going we're gonna to continue to shred it too. And you can see how easily, even though this is a little cold, it just breaks up. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the onions that we put inside the Instant Pot, I don't strain all those out so that you'll get chunks of onion in there. Now I will say the limes I put in there with the skin, I did get rid of the lime chunks. Uh, but the onion and the garlic we leave in there. All right, are you guys hungry? We, we try and do our cooking videos on Wednesdays, so if you ever run into us in a campground, stop by on a Wednesday because we cook stuff and shoot it and then don't have anybody to give it to. So. <laughs> you don't have a right? Uh huh, yeah, the 394RK, the rear kitchen. Yeah, oh, we love it. Tons of fun, this is awesome. Oh cool, okay. Thank you guys. this for a party at home. I was taking pictures of everything you included. So oh, cool. Okay, well, yeah. uh, the guacamole recipe should be up on YouTube and the website probably in about three weeks or so. Okay. The pork is just really good. Great. Oh, yeah, Thank the you. pork is amazing. So, thanks for coming. Is everybody enjoying themselves? Absolutely. Yes. This is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love hearing that. So, you guys are having fun, this sounds. Yes, so, that's thanks. good. Thank you for doing this. You're this very welcome. Really nice. We love to feed people and have happy people. 
you know, food is wow. so important in our lives, and um, I just, I like the smiles when people eat good food, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Hey, it's travel day. We're getting ready to go to South Carolina where it's a little bit warmer. We'll be spending three weeks down there and as we slowly make our way to Florida in December, we are leaving this beautiful park, Talona Ridge RV Resort. It is not just a park, it's a resort. It was a great time, great rally. We'll have to come back sometime soon.